Welcome, time for some art fun. Today, it's time to swatch some beautiful materials. Okay, I just need to take a second to go over these two little items because these are also from my birthday haul, the haul number two. They just missed making that video. They got here just a little bit late, but I love this so much and I wanted to be able to unbox this. So I'm just throwing this in here so it's a little treat. I'll do this first because it's already unwrapped and I've already worn it. <laughs> so this is a fleece. It is extremely soft and I just can't get over this pattern. Like, how cool are these? They, I'm sure it won't translate necessarily, but they are just such a cool, like almost out of focus bug pattern that I just want to draw. Like, I just want to sketch this so much. It is so well made. It's so soft. It is a fleece. What do you call this? <laughs> gator. It's a, it's a gator. It's almost like an infinity scarf. And I just throw it on with everything. I mostly wear that gray jacket that you've probably seen in a bunch of videos. My gray kind of marled. It's a North Face jacket actually. And this goes so perfectly with it. So I just wear this all the time. I'm always getting compliments on it. It's from an Etsy shop called Just Sew Life. With the sew is like sewing. S-E-W. And the creator, she lives locally. And so I go to craft fairs and see her. I've bought a blanket from her, but actually a bunch of blankets from her, baby blankets for my sister's kids, um, a couch blanket that I use all winter long. <laughs> it's currently on my bed right now. But this is the first thing I've bought to wear. It was only $15 and I love it so much. There was another one. This one is double-sided with the same uh, buggy, little bug pattern, little beetle pattern. But there was another one that had a, like a very cool green liner on the inside with this just on the outside. And it was a really tough call between those two. I'm going to have to check and see if she has them up on her actual store because I did get this in person and not on Etsy. But everything she does is so high quality. I've had my particular blanket that I have on my bed and comes with me on my couch, on my downstairs chair. It's just like I carry it around like a kid. You know, when you're a kid and you bring... A blanket to like show and tell I'm like that with her blanket <laughs> so great so that's how I'm becoming with this I just wear it all the time it's so warm it's so cute it's so me and I love it so just so life on Etsy highly recommend and then this is Lee Ellickson and I just bought a ton of her stickers you've seen her stickers on my sketchbooks before um, in my like what sketchbook should I bring to travel with me video. This is so cute. This is one of her still lives I'm gonna have to hang it on my wall and then here are all the, I got so many stickers She opens her shop so intermittently that when it opens I just want to like take full advantage. So there's the froggy on Like a tulip or some kind of flower from one of her sketchbook pages I actually drew this in my sketchbook, but I also just love the original so super excited about that a snail hello so cute i love this her dog which is just like a no-brainer again if you watched my corgi video i know this isn't necessarily he might be a frenchie he might be a french bulldog but he also might be just a really fat boston i don't know what kind of dog it is but it's definitely the kind of dog that i would run across traffic to pet and i love this painting <laughs> So to have it on a sticker, so cute. A koala, just recently did a koala, love them. They're so sweet looking. They just look like they would wanna snuggle and that's my vibe. Love snuggling. A beautiful tiger and I just loved the colors. I love the background. I love this. It's like literally you have a painting but it's a sticker. That's what I love about getting stickers from your favorite artists. And a beautiful tiger with a purple round, purples and oranges, oh, so pretty. So that's quite, ooh, oh no quite the sticker haul and a beautiful snood <laughs> also known as a gator or an infinity scarf so I'm very happy like this was really a great birthday I'm excited about this and it's way early it's not even my birthday yet I have several weeks before my actual birthday but you know you gotta get it while you have your money in pocket so let's get on to the swatching okay we're gonna start with the Holbein gouache the two browns one of which I totally forgot I even bought <laughs> This is the Burnt Sienna from Holbein. It's Artist Squash, and it is a really beautiful Burnt Sienna. I'm excited about it. I'll give you a close-up in a second when I bring it up to hold closer to the camera, along with this beautiful Burnt Umber. These are really the only two, you know, quote-unquote browns I think you could really need 
and you're completely covered and I really love them. So here's a close look. When I swatch certain supplies, I like to do it on both white and black paper. And since I have the one swatch book, I sometimes paint black gesso on the pages of this white sketchbook to sort of mimic a black sketchbook page. So that's all I'm doing here. I'm just going to go ahead and put the Holbein Burnt Sienna and Burnt Umber right here into this black gessoed page of my swatch book. And this is where I have all my Winsor & Newton and Holbein gouache swatches. And there's the close-up. I think they look great. They're still drying here, but yeah, they look beautiful. Also, look at that ultramarine. Wow. I just got the one Caran d'Ache Luminance pencil this time. When I write full set, I just mean full set of my Caran d'Ache. <laughs> I don't have any set. I buy these individually. They're over $4 a pop, so I collect them sort of slowly. And that's why I just got the one color during this last art haul number two. And it's the Anthraquinoid Pink. I was inspired by Natasha Newton, who is a YouTube artist here, and she is a beautiful artist and she loves this color. So she talked it up enough. I think she has like 18 of them at this point or something. She buys backups because she's worried they're gonna discontinue them. And I started to get worried they're not gonna discontinue them. She's gonna buy them all and I'll never get to try it. So I got one for myself. That's what it looks like on black paper and that's what it looks like on white paper. It, it is really very pretty, quite, quite pretty. And there's the close up of the pencil. I love how Luminance pencils look and feel. They're so, they're just beautiful pencils, highly recommend. So now we're going to go ahead and swatch all of these Posca pens. When I went into this swatch book, I looked for my Posca pen page and realized I'd never made one because I just had the white, this little sort of, oh gosh, I forgot the name of it. I do write it down later, but this green and the coral pink. Those are my only two real colors. The white isn't really a color. And I never picked a page and swatched them out. I just jumped into using them. So. I got to swatch all of them, including the two I'd already had, and all of the ones that I got in my most recent haul. They are really cool. You do have to shake them, and then you have to sort of prime them, which I did off screen to the right. I was just, you know, pumping the, after you shake them like this, then you have to kind of press them down. The little nib goes in, it retracts. And so you have to just press them down, press them down until you see the paint start flowing. And I actually do that on my palette. I do not do it on the page because you can get like a, almost a burp of paint right onto your page. So just be aware of that. I like to prime them off on my actual palette. And you'll see little dots of that paint when I swatch out the, the Sui gouache. <laughs> Sui gouache. It's really hard to say that in a row, um, which is there um, at, on top of this page. But that's the final Posca pen set. I think they're really beautiful together. I'm really excited. So here we go. Here's the Sui gouache. And I'm really nervous that I'm saying it wrong. And I hope I'm not butchering it. But this is obviously going to get its own page. I'm just opening it up here on my other gouache page so that when we do look through this swatch card, you can see the major difference between these colors and the ones I already have. It's just a really beautiful, unique color palette. So I'm looking at these swatches. These are the ones that are printed on the card that comes in the box. And you really just never know if those swatches are super accurate. So I'm just going to swatch them again, not just in my swatch book, but also right above the existing swatches. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little dots above the dashes. So you'll know the dashes on the right there are the ones that came with the set and the dots that I paint above it are going to be the ones that are really from the paint themselves and we can compare and see how accurate the swatch card it comes with is. I really loved swatching this gouache. It is a oh it's such a good texture. It is a beautiful beautiful paint set. The colors are just gorgeous. I, they really inspired me. They made me want to get to painting. Unfortunately, I couldn't get to painting because I had so 
so many things to swatch. So it's like fortunate and unfortunate. I was excited to have so many new supplies to swatch. It's one of my favorite things to swatch out new materials. But when you do get a big batch of things in at once, which is really very rare, usually I don't get a huge amount of supplies all at once. Usually I order something, I wait for it to get in, I swatch it, I use it for a while, then I order something else and it's all slow. But because of the YouTube channel, and, you know, because of the holidays and my birthday coming up, I did it all at once. I actually hoarded all my boxes to open in one big go. So I was swatching in one big go and it was hard. I wanted to stop swatching everything else and make a painting with these. That's how wonderful they were. They're just so awesome. I was frankly nervous. I got them on recommendation of one of my artist subscribers a lot of artists like me subscribe to other artists like we love art youtube artists love other artists that's kind of a thing i know i get really inspired and excited to see other artists using their materials and doing test paintings and i know i have a lot of artists who subscribe to me who are the same way and one of them suggested that i get this suey gouache set and I immediately acted on it because I'm very into gouache right now. I just got all of these beautiful Windsor and Newton and Holbein gouaches and put them in my little Stay Wet palette. And I've been loving them. Like, they're so much fun. I had a lot of fun doing the chipmunk, guinea pigs, like all kinds of stuff with these uh, gouache paints. And when I got these, they were expensive. I mean, they're $43 to me. That's expensive. Although it's 12 tubes. So maybe it's really not, especially because they are supposed to be artist grade. But they are wonderful it was it was such a good thing i am so thrilled that that person recommended these to me look how close the swatch colors are the circles and the dashes it looks like they both came on the card the only one to me that looks different is the blue right there in the middle that one looks different all the other ones look the same they look like they were printed together at the same time so this is a beautiful set just a wonderful texture i did the solid colors on top and the watered down colors underneath in my swatch book here they're gorgeous like i oh i can't wait to paint with them i'm that's seriously definitely going to be my next one they're still out on my desk everything else has been put away these are getting used first so we're on to our final supply which is the ginormous set of blick brand matte acrylic paint um this is the off-white and i'm just going to go down in the color order that i have i'll show you quickly i'm painting on the top you'll see the color name when i hold it up but i'm also painting the swatch in the swatch book and then painting the top of the cap because i want to be able to just reach in you'll see at the end i'll show you how i'm storing them because there are so many and i want them to be stored in a pretty way i want them in an easily accessible place right next to my desk in my art cart you can see in my art studio tour where my art cart is and the top has a lot of my you know acryl gouache my flash paints and now it has these and it also has my little gouache palette so um, that's where I wanted to store them so I went to Target and got a bunch of storage cases and rearranged that top shelf I'll talk about it more at the end but that there you go I moved it into frame so you could see that's how I'm going to store them and right now you can see most of them just have white gesso on top and I'm painting the tops as I go I opened each one and a lot of them exploded this red right here exploded real bad you can see all the extra paint on the top <laughs> you'll probably see my hands might look like they have blood on them that red there is from it exploding of course it has to be the red one that explodes the worst but when i opened the gold metallic in the art hall you could see sort of what happened that happened with almost all of them so when you take they're just pressurized funny so when you take the you cap off there's a little white tab on top like kind of like when you buy vitamins or something and when you go to open that a little there's a little like air burp and a little it explodes a little bit so it does get a little bit on your fingers i got a little bit on my desk not all of them but i would say like maybe five out of the almost 20 paint bottles did that so i just smartened up and started opening it over the water <laughs> container that i was using to clean my brush and that made it easier but my hands were just covered in paint it was just how it is so eventually i just stopped cleaning them i was going into the bathroom to wash my hands between every bottle and finally i was like they're just going to realize that it's paint and they're not going to think that i just live with stuff on my hands all the time they're going to know it's paint so <laughs> i loved the colors as i was swatching them out i was blown away they are indeed matte i'll talk about it at the end but at this point i was still wondering if that green the primary green uh, one over from the right in the middle row if that was going to dry matte that was one of two that did not dry matte 
all of the other 20 colors and that would include the white there are 19 colors and then you can just say white is number 20 even though there's four of them <laughs> um they really do dry matte they're beautiful they're a beautiful consistency when they dry i i cannot believe these paints are as good as they are for how cheap they are i got all 22 of these paints because three whites and 19 colors for 30 dollars and i just got a comment as I'm doing this voiceover, I just got a comment on that art haul video that one of my subscribers just looked, and it is still $10.36 for the pastel set, the neutrals set, and the primary set. Each of them are about $10. So $30 if you want to get all three like I did. Um, I, that's insane. Okay, that was intense. Woo! All right. So this is the paint what it'll look like in its little storage container i'll try to go slow so you don't get seasick here i know these caps aren't like <laughs> hashtag aesthetic or anything but i didn't make them really for posting on social media for admiration that would have been cool and i definitely think we all would have appreciated that but i actually just did them you know to use in my studio so that when i look down i know oh that's what color that's going to be that's what color that's going to be. And I also, of course, did my swatches in my swatch book that we've been using all day. So here are the colors as they appear in the swatch book. And I hope you can see that off white and see what I meant. The yellow light is really pretty. The green deep, which is a primary color the gold metallic, and I think that's it. Those two colors are the only ones that aren't super matte. You can actually, they look more like traditional acrylic. Everything else, dude, that's matte acrylic. Like that looks gorgeous. That is what I'm talking about. And I don't even know if it's gonna translate as well because it's nighttime now, so I've got my fake lights. I don't have my sunlight anymore, but let me just tell you in person, like this sage, blue that I was obsessed with when I first saw it in the in the tube in the bottle I was right <laughs> Celadon gorgeous I mean these are beautiful beautiful colors and that silver metallic I hope you can see the actual metallic you know sheen oh there you go that probably woo yeah look at that super pretty got you know paint in my thumbnails and my nail beds and I washed my hands so many times but there's just paint everywhere and that's how it'll be for a day. I don't mind because now I have all these beautiful colors. So it was $30 for all of this paint. I just went to Target and got something to hold them in. This little, you know, plastic thing was pretty cheap. I think it was like six bucks. And I got similar stuff to hold my gouache, my acrylic gouache. That's what's gonna hold that now. I already did my um, studio tour, so I thought it would be helpful to just show you that this little top part of my um, art cart looks really different now just because I got stuff to hold. These are my flash paints. Uh, stuff to just keep these a little bit better organized because these are so big, you know, two ounces each, that if I didn't have some kind of organization and some kind of way to tell what's what, but when I reach in, I, I fear these could not get used if they were hidden somewhere away. I want them right in my face, right next to me when I paint every day. So this was the swatch session. I hope that you enjoyed it. There will be a painting session. I'm gonna do a painting with these and I'm going to do a painting with these beautiful Sui gouache paints. So I'm gonna do a painting with both. And I'm just gonna say one more time, I'm shocked how these dots are the ones I did and they're almost exactly the same. Every color is the same, except in my opinion, the blue. Blue is the only one that looks a little more slate blue in the fake swatch, and it looks more, you know, true blue, like cyan blue, cyan blue <laughs> in my swatch. So I'm really excited to do paintings with these supplies, and I'm gonna do two different videos with these in the coming days so look for that make sure that you're subscribed so you see when those come out but until then thank you so much for hanging out with me today i hope that you liked the video and if you did give it the thumbs up and leave me a comment for your favorite part until next time create something cute